it says right here that even the symbology that the brain weaves is particular to my own experiences, not to anybody else's. But I kind of understood what that dream was because of that question that was continuously in my mind as to what portent, I, that was the word she used, portent, my soul was having on the astral. And I wanted to know whether it was positive or negative. I said, oh my gosh, what's my soul like? What am I putting out there? That, that's how I identified with that dream. And no other way would I have known because for 10 years or whatever length it was, I asked that same question on the inner lines of my being and I didn't know what it was that my soul was like. And um, so it will give you an answer, but it is relevant to you only, not to anybody else. So it, it had a little section here where it showed that the... Um, I interrupted you and you said you don't give a two examples. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm finished. Uh, it said here... Um, yeah, never mind. Uh, the other two examples were... Um, one was Tartini's um, The Devil's Sonata he saw that in his dream that, that somebody was playing the um, uh, the violin and he heard it and then when he woke up he wrote it but could not remember the end of the uh, music Tartini. So two years later another dream comes and in that dream the music actually wakes him up and it is a blind beggar that is playing in his dream and that is how he wrote the uh, end of that uh, sonata. Mm -hmm. So we, we are given that uh, sift sifting occurs. And Kublai Khan, Coolrich wrote it that way too. He said, I saw it in my dream. And as soon as I woke up, I wrote it. And while he was writing, he was called away. It never got finished because he could not remember it afterwards. Mm -hmm. That information was sifted down for a purpose. Thank you all. I will answer Thank your you. questions separately, everybody else. Uh. Thank you.